Unifor's national president, Lana Payne, for more reaction on this. Hi, Ms. Payne. Good to see you. Thank you so much for making the time. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. How worried are you right now that this deal could go south? Well, I think there's too much at stake for it to go south, but I'm also very, very concerned at the stage that we're at right now, that we're, you know, in the final hour, uh, almost at the point of brinkmanship. And uh, as you know, uh, Stellantis halted uh, construction on its battery plant today in Windsor. So this is as serious as it gets. And uh, we have thousands and thousands of, of workers' uh, futures uh, depending on this right now and depending on the federal government and, and this company, uh, you know, getting this deal done and getting it signed so this construction can start up again. I don't think it would surprise anyone that Stellantis would know what VW got and, you know, want to talk to the federal government about its own deal. But did it come as a surprise to you or your members that they were prepared and did stop construction? Uh, yes, uh, very much a surprise. I have to tell you, uh, my stomach fell when I got this news on Friday. Uh, I, I actually think that from Stellantis' point of view, I'm not going to speak for them, but I will tell you what they've said to us. And that is, is that the, the, the understanding and the agreement that they felt they had with the federal government predated the Volkswagen deal and predated even the budget. And as we know, the budget had a significant uh, response uh, to what Biden uh, instituted last fall, which is the Inflation Reduction Act, which really was, you know, enormous incentives uh, to help transform uh, the auto sector and clean tech. And, uh, and Canada did respond in a very significant way, and we were glad to see that. Uh, but according to Stellantis, this isn't, you know, about the VW deal. It's about what they thought they had. And, and do you buy that? Well, I can only take things at face value. Uh, you know, we, we deal with them uh, on a regular basis. And I would say to you, they don't make threats. They make decisions. And they've just made one. And the, the longer uh, that this is set there, the tougher it is to, to overturn this. So time is of, of an essence right now. Uh, that is what I've spent the weekend uh, telling the federal government, uh, telling the provincial government, and, and telling Stellantis. If they need to pare back on their ask, then they need to do it. Everyone's got to come to the table and, and get a fair deal right now to make sure that, you know, our members, uh, auto workers in the Stellantis foot footprint in Canada, and of course our future members, uh, which will be hopefully uh, working in this, this battery plant and along the supply chain, uh, have the future that they've been promised. It sounds from what Deputy Prime Minister Christopher Freeland said that the feds would like the Ontario government to contribute more than they have already decided to. Would you like to see that happen? I, I think the province has to take this seriously right now. Uh, I have spoken to them. I know they are very concerned. I know that their premier has been a big supporter of the auto sector and the and it, uh, uh, understanding of the of the transformation that needs to occur. Uh, so what I would say is all of these parties need to get into a room and hammer this out right now. And time, as I mentioned, is really critical. We can't be dragging this out when you have construction on a billion dollar project held up. When you say time, do you mean days versus weeks? Oh, yes, I, I absolutely do mean days versus weeks. And, uh, you know, one, once these decisions get made and, and you go down the path of, of a company, a corporation as large as Stellantis, looking at contingency plans and, and going back to the drawing board, that's a pretty dangerous place to be in. And uh, we, that would be disastrous for the auto sector, uh, not, not just from the Stellantis uh, footprint, but also from the future investment that we'd like to attract here. We know that there's more investment out there. And, and part of this right now is also showing in the auto sector that we can do an industrial strategy, we can transform the economy for the future. And, and frankly, government has to be part of that. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. You mentioned you've spoken with the premier's office or the provincial government, at least. My guess is that you've been working the phones at all levels of government and with the company. Based on those conversations, I just have a few seconds left, but Ms. Payne, do you believe that a deal can still be had? I do. Uh, it's too big not to. It's too important not to. And uh, everyone's got to focus in in the next couple of days and just get this done. Okay, thank you so much for your time this evening. Really appreciate it. Thank you.